Welcome back, everyone, to more Barrow Hill. We're in Motel Room 3, where it appears somebody has done lots of scribbling on the walls and has gone fucking crazy. There's a note under the toilet. He sees us as famine, a disease now eating away creation. This country, like a plague, we rip the goodness from the earth and replace it with only excrement of our existence. Why must I suffer these fools? Why must he hunger beneath? Archaeology is not about destruction. These idiots who call themselves protesters are damaging what we seek to understand. The science and knowledge we uncover is vital for the future. To understand and appreciate is a gift these vandals lack in the newfound expressions of self-invented worth. The centuries guard his resting place. Honored over time to please him, yet forgotten, now they stand alone, decaying, forgotten, and clouded in myth with no fucking purpose. An age has passed since they judged the offerings. I will honor him. What am I saying? I am a man of science. Yet to understand, one must explore the possibilities. Myth and legend often stem from a truth. True tales told over time become the fables we hear today. And a few days before that, why don't we listen? The message was left embedded in our very souls. He was one of many, and those like him feel the pain we inflict. Taking what was once good and pure and miraculous, we abuse it and trust he granted us. The soil is rich with energy. The lines are clear to me. The seal is cracking, the future open. I see. What am I saying? In fever, I write, I write drivel, and it makes no sense. If it were not my handwriting and my own hand which holds the pen, I would never believe it. He lays waiting, watching us in the forgotten cage that has become his prison. His temple has forgotten. Soon he will send forth his hounds and begin the hunt again. The geophysical survey has arrived. It is a fabulous development in the archaeological toolkit. To be able to create an image through the ground beneath our feet by composting all the data taken by magnetic and radio probing of the very earth we are to excavate. The imagery will take some time to interpret, but I have no doubt that secret lay, secrets lay hidden amongst the digital mess. What lies beneath the barrow still remains to be discovered. What else do we have around here? Ooh, a timeline. Ceremonial sites in Cornwall. Mapping gray GPS system. Remote cameras, Bluetooth PDA, and rapid charger. Okay. We also found a message claiming that the key to the combination of the safe was on the jeep of the on the license plate of the guy's jeep. Well, that's my car. Maybe his is the other way. I remember there was a second crashed vehicle. There it is. 4X68578. So maybe four times 68,578, which comes out to, let me grab my calculator, 274,312. What was the damn code here again? Uh, 497. 489 was the other one. 497 is this one. Alright. Clear, motherfucker. There we 
and go. All right, so it should be uh, two, seven, four. Boom shakalaka. Dear Professor Morris, thank you for your letter with regards. Oh, this is Lucy, Lucy. Dear Professor Morris, thank you for your letter with regards to Battle Hill Excavation. I'm sorry I sound like a pedophile and the offer of employment as support scientist and sample analysis. I, like many in the field, were astounded that the English Archaeological Committee and Department of National Heritage authorized the excavation and immediate studies. Smaller excavations across the country have been cancelled or refused permission altogether due to the media hype, mayhem, and well-publicized protest. I'm most fascinated in your proposal and accept the post to help with your investigation. A laboratory is more than adequate to perform the task of processing the finds. There may be some anaerobic conditions due to localized soil types, given much scope for the environmental archaeology as well as the usual paleobotany. I have an associate who is skilled in dendrochronology, should any wood samples be recovered during your excavation. Dendrochronology. I look forward to further details and to meeting with you soon. Yours sincerely, Lucy Summers. The slut. Dear Mr. Morris, please find attached preliminary scientific report on the soil samples you sent us. Okay, I don't know that... Okay, pottery fragments are coated with a tar-like black substance. Okay. Although this might first indicate that something was burnt inside the pot, the saturation on the soil suggested the vessel was simply filled with oil, the purpose of which we can find no other indication. Burning would have left a detectable magnetic difference in the pottery. I guess this is important enough to read. Uh, the findings in tray 2, contents of the contents of the beaker fragments found in this trench appear to have been a collection of native fruits. The remaining seeds with soil indicate the contents would have been a mixture of what appears to be blackberry, gooseberry, and pear. Curiously, there are twice as many blackberry seeds as there are the others, indicating a measuring system in use. Okay, that's probably something we need to know for later. Small, partially charred remains of bone fragment were found within the soil of the pot or beaker. They have been separated from the base soil type and studied. It is thought that they are samples of both Melanogramus aegulfinis and the Gadiidae species. Okay. Somebody Google that for me. Uh, trench 4, the paleobotany department is looking at the soil content more closely as it appears to contain a variety of seeds and spores. Tray 5, below a layer of soil sediment, the pottery contained the compacted remains of seeds. These have been identified under the microscope as Hordeum vulgari. That would be a good name for our channel. The vulgar horde, commonly known as barley. Oh, now fuck that. Uh, finds in tray six, a sample contained an unusually high concentration of sodium chloride encrusted around the inside of the uncovered pottery fragments. The remaining surrounding soil contained the same conditions as the natural baseline material. From this, we deduce that the pot must have contained the aforementioned mineralized substance. Tray 7, nothing was found in the soil sample other than the natural baseline material. The lack of archaeological evidence alongside the fragmented pot sample is unusual. We would expect some disturbance or foreign bodies to have found their way into the soil when the pot was deposited rather than such clean, pure conditions. The only noticeable difference is that the condition of the pottery in the case has been exposed to moisture more so than other findings. Bone fragments and charcoal remains were found amongst the soil samples in Tray 8. The magnetic reading of the soil was not coherent with the material which had burnt in situ, suggesting that the remains were added or were drawn into the area having been combusted elsewhere. We were unable to obtain a date was from the bone fragments as they were too charred. That's a shame. These may be coherent with ritual activity or funeral practices, though we were unable to determine the nature of the bones and the mixture of the small fragments make the use of carbon dating useless. And the paleobotany report, the material recovered from inside trench four pottery beaker has been analyzed. Amongst the material which was supplied as a base soil comparison, we have revealed the following organic items. There are samples of crushed and completed seeds, both large and small, the first of which have been identified as belonging to the member 
of the Quercus tree species, also known as the queer tree. The species of the second smaller seed types have yet to be identified due to deterioration. However, their original outer fruiting bodies have stained the surrounding material and seed casing with a red tone. At present, we can only say that there are small red berries. During microscopic analysis of the above seeds, we have found a large mass of fungus spores. As yet, their species is also unidentified, but due to the strata of the compacted material, the spores have come from material which was added at the same time the seeds were crushed into the pot. Further analysis of the material will continue in order that we might shed further light on the findings. Mm -hmm. All right, you got to give these guys credit. They put some uh, work into all of the research and adding all this awesome, awesome dialogue for me to read. They won't know where I am. No, no, don't see me. Stop looking. I'm not here. No, no, no. Holy shit, Ben's been hitting that crack pipe again. Oh no, oh no, oh! Uh, I think Ben just got hit with the sentry stone. Let's go see if we can find Ben behind here. Damn it, crow. Hi, guys. It's Maggie here. Are you there? Pick up if you are. I'm afraid I won't be able to make it into work today. I know Carol is away, but I feel really ill. I don't know where I caught this cold. I was fine yesterday. Anyway, I'll try and call you again later. Weird fucking noises coming through the phone. <laughs> Some scratch offs. Fruity goodness, natural fruit juice. Okay. I got some extra tapes in here to listen to, maybe. Some batteries. That's all we needed from there, it looks like. Camera system. Maybe that was us. that Ben dashing around? I don't know. Pretty blurry. Wow. 
some paper. To all the staff. an old ride up in there. Got the mini casino. Need some coins so we can play it. Okay, we got some kind of uh, halogen lamp or lens or something. Oh yeah, we're good. Ben was uh, into the only kind of pussy he could get. That's odd. Let me put this somewhere. Can pick up the night piece, but we can't do shit with it. Something to do with the can here. Ooh, yummy cigarettes. Oops. Ah. There we go. Put that in my pocket. What the fuck?
Okay, give me my oil cup. I assume that one of these is filled now. Oh, here it is. It's up here. Holy shit! Got that open. Wait a minute. Different fucking door. I want to go to this door. No, we're talking. Yes, open and go through, asshole. Ching, motherfucker! I'm rich! Oh, got coins for the fruit machine now. That's what they call slot machines. They call them fruit machines. Over on that side of the world. <coughs> Also known as the one armed bandits. Come on, motherfucker. One coin gets you unlimited play. Oh, yeah. Jackpot.
Some blackberry, some gooseberry, some pear, and some apple. Radio from our homegirl. Leo, a powerful month for relationships as Uranus, your love planet, is bringing a glamour and personal vitality. Singles will find this a particularly eventful time when they begin to take a fresh look at relationships or find a hobby. Scorpio. Your underlying feeling of superiority over others will become clearer to see in the eyes of the fools that surround you. The ambitious projects right. you have embarked upon will set you free from those that bleed your energy levels. Remember, there was more blackberry than anything. Past few weeks. Remember to indulge your dreams fantasies but settle back on earth once in a while Gemini the month began with most of the planets in the east and your own sign in a particularly favorable position this opens up many new paths the ancient has a walk Well, we've got a couple uh, offerings up there. So good communication at home and She's not dead, apparently. Back inside the circle. Every time I try to leave, a barrier in my mind forces me back up the hill. I can't. I can't. It's going to get me. It came for me. When she distracted it, oh my god, oh god, poor Wincy, she saved me, it turned her into, it turned her to nothing, worse than nothing, it was, it was just, just flesh, burning flesh, she saved my life, but it's still the hunter, it was watching from the darkness and it came, it came for me, why me? Why me? Why me? <laughs> I don't know. 
Why me? can take the metal detector. Sodium chloride salt. Melanogramus agilfinus haddock. That's a that's a good fish actually. Lots of protein, low on fat. Also a good fish. The Quercus tree is an oak. Pretty sure we picked up some acorns, which are the seeds of oaks. Gary Barley, we learned that already. Okay. Just added some shit to my notes here. So we have the oil offering and a fruit mixture offering. Now we need fish, salt, barley or whiskey. Some kind of plant mixture. When we were listening to Conrad's dictaphone in Motel Room 3, we did hear that one part of the seal had been hidden, if you recall. And he said it was very well hidden if the runes continue to sink into the swamp. So we're going to need our metal detector.
We're getting a good reading here. Aha! <clears throat> he weeps from the earth at the nightmare he sees. Our new version of this world was not part of the pact. In ancient times, he was proud of us. We honored his name, understanding the ways of the land. In his absence, we made offerings to show ourselves as the guardians of gifts passed down to us over generations. We respected the truth and cared for the territory he so generously guarded. Yet we have turned away in ignorance, and he watches us with a vengeful sorrow. No, we should take that. We should, we should take that. Fuck you, then. We got the artifact. Where'd they, where'd they jam it? Oh, here it is. Alright, folks, it's gonna wrap it up for this episode. Stay tuned for more Barrow Hill!